How's Michael look so far as he continues to get a little more playing time, it looks like, and uh, grow it as, a, as a newcomer, grow in that position? I mean, how's he looking out there? Um, I think he looks really good. Uh, he's got an unbelievable amount of upside. He's He's got so much potential, and he can be really good uh, as long as he just keeps uh, paying attention to Coach Wick, and I think he's doing a really good job of solidifying the left tackle spot. Great, thank you. Yep. How big a deal is it when different guys – come in because I mean to start off with you guys were like a, as close a fraternity as you could get for five guys playing you know the same position for the most part is it does it blend pretty good yeah I think you know the first five games or whatever when we were had that rotation uh you know it it kind of kind of made it hard because me and Rush you know we just had we knew what each other was going to do just, just by looking at each other but uh over the few games me and Nick have kind of started to develop that and I think it's helped us as an offensive line, just knowing everybody knows their role and uh, knowing what they're going to be expected to do each Saturday. I don't know if it's a case, but I've noticed the defense playing more aggressive, maybe about the last three weeks. Really noticed it Missouri, noticed it again against Baylor. That sometimes spreads. That's about the same time you guys started really popping big holes. You feel like you guys have gotten more aggressive as the season's gone on? Because I know you like to, you guys like to play with guys. You like to get on, yeah. on those defensive linemen and rough them up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think we definitely feed off our defense. You know, they've been flying around the past three games and, uh, you know, carrying the team and doing well for us. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun to see them hit guys. It definitely motivates us to go out there and try and, you know, match what they're doing. One of the things I noticed in the Baylor game, it seemed like, you were fitting up and, and you were you were blocking guys. I mean, like Martinez took that alley and that big run for Randall at Missouri. I noticed on Randall's big run Saturday, there were guys on the ground, the, the old pancake, the cleater type stuff. Yeah, I mean, we, like, we love to get you those. you somebody on that play. <laughs> I don't know. We just love to get those guys on the ground because uh, you get to rest when you're laying on the ground and then they're laying on top of you. <laughs> you don't have to run around, so it's nice to get knockdowns. <laughs> With what Kansas State may try to do, I mean, they don't necessarily try to jump around a whole lot like Texas a and Do you like it more when you see something and you say, okay, well, this is probably what it's going to be instead of here comes somebody out of my blind spot? Um, honestly, I like, I like all the confusion that defenses try to do because, you know, hopefully you can see what they're going to do before they do it and you can uh, prevent a defensive guy from getting in his gap. So that's when you get those long runs. Uh, K-State, they keep it really basic. Uh, so we're just going to have to, you know, just know what they're doing. There's so, not a lot of stuff. But so yeah. not as much fun for you, but still not bad? Yeah, it's not as much fun, but it's it's always fun, I guess. <laughs> hey, you guys have been running the ball really well the past few weeks. Uh, talk about what that means as an offensive line to, to kind of have that badge of honor, seeing these guys break some long ones and, and really get, get highlighted in the last few weeks. Yeah, we love it when we can run the ball. Uh, it helps our offensive uh, passing game a lot, and I think we take a lot of pride in running the ball. So. When we get a run play called in, are you guys a little more excited that you get to, you know, fire off and, and, and move somebody out of the way as opposed to kind of the pass block, or does it matter? You guys? Yeah, no, we we definitely like to run the ball, but whenever a run play is called and they end up throwing it, that's that's not fun because you waste all that energy. But you know, uh, it's definitely a lot more fun to run the ball and move your guy than it is to pass protect. So we've seen Herschel, uh, Jeremy, and uh, Joe have big weekends this weekend. Is there is there a specific back you guys like to block for? It doesn't matter who's holding the ball back then. I mean, Jeremy and Joseph, they're both great guys. They really appreciate us blocking for them, and uh, I think we love blocking for both of them. And talk about what it's like to be on the Remington Watch um, list, man, for you to be you know, mentioned in, um, in, in those that are among the best. Yeah, it's, it's a great honor. It's nice. Uh, but I think that definitely comes down to our offensive line as a whole. I think, you know, we make each other look good. So without each other, we wouldn't be there. And Levy talked about after the game how you guys are just a really tight-knit group. We talked to other guys. They all kind of say the same thing. But, I mean, what is it about, about this team that's so connected? You know, I mean, every team lives together. They practice hard, all those things. But what is it about this team that seems to be a little, little extra, a little different in the way they're just connected? I think the difference is – we don't worry about stuff and we don't really put pressure on ourselves as years pass. I think guys would get a little too nervous and hyped up for the game. I think we just try to keep it loose and try to have fun because that's what it's all about.